making my first tutorial on YouTube. So this is going to be about Blender and as you all know I'm kind of an animation freak. So I'm just going to be using this random rig a friend gave to me. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. She just made this for me for my YouTube channel art which I really think is, I actually really like it. So um, yeah guys. Today I'll be teaching you how to composite. Now a lot of my good friends on YouTube have been asking me how do I composite? Um, why do your videos like look good with compositing? And I'm like, yep, I'll make a tutorial. So here it is. So you, you'll start off like this. Your camera, the, you can easily go to your default up here and then click on compositing. Now, what this will do is this will add a graph, graph, whatever. And what you want to do is hit on use node, free unused, backdrop, and auto render. Auto render can make lag, so that's under your own risk. So let's say, here's my rendered view. Let's say I want to make, I want to add some stuff. So first what you're going to need is to add in a viewer. If I could spell it, just type in viewer. Click on the first one, put it here. You're going to click on the render layers here, put it on viewer. This is going to put it there. Next, what you want to do is you want to think of something that you want to add to a picture. So let's say I want, let's say I want glare. So let me find glare, which would be in the filter. Go to glare, and I connect it to this line. Next, I would grab part of this and just put it in there. Okay, guys? So, to add in the glare, we have to, for the threshold, you can go down. Go down, go down. And as you see, it's starting to glare up. Okay, so that is a little bit too much glare. So, you can do three things here. One is to turn this up. Two is to go into streaks and we can do simple star maybe which I really like. Um, and then here we can go to low or high. There you go. So that glare is pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Let's go to the next. Um, let's go to the next node. So what? What do you want? What do you guys want? Come on. Um, you want blur? I knew you wanted that blur. All you guys want that blur. So here we're gonna go into. We can go to. Um, I personally don't care which one it is. It doesn't really make a difference, but as you see, the blur is very nice. Very nice. You can do a flat blur, a tenth blur, a quadratic blur, quadratic blur, a cubic blur, a glacian. Sorry for the pronunciation. A fast glacian and catrum, and finally. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick flat, and as you see, it has the most things. So I think that looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice. But I want to turn it down a little bit, so I just put it down. There you go. Mm. I'm just gonna go to one for each because that just looks good. Next, what do you want? What do you guys want to add? Um, four minutes in. Let's go ahead and add in a color. A color. What is that beeping noise? What is that going to happen? Okay, um, color balance. This is probably the most useful and you don't actually have to connect it up, go into this, connect it up. You hold it and then drag it everywhere until you see that there's an orange line and you just, just leave it there. It will automatically connect them. So next, probably don't want to touch these two because the, this one is the main. So if I change this to red, as you see everything turns red. Now as you see the actual render doesn't. So what we're going to do is... We are going to, uh, going to grab this, we're going to put this in for the blur, and as you see that did that, I'm going to be so about 
red. So, but that's too much red. So what we're gonna do is we want to change it up a bit. Orange would be good. We can put it closer to white. Black means nothing at all. Light is terrible. So um, we're gonna go into blue. We want to turn that down a bit. Yeah, that looks good. It's kind of wrecking my eyes right now, like a wrecking ball. Um, I don't want it to actually ruin any of my other ones. The glare is pretty important, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, I think that looks really good. I'll put. Let's put him into a uh, uh, different pose, shall we? Um, sorry for the lag if there's any. Ah, this is the first time you hear my voice. So I, I can turn the head as if he's confused. And I can put up one of his eyebrows a little bit. If I can click on them, that's what I hate about Blender. simple after that it's really really simple as long as you've got the render layers composite and the viewer everything is so simple and after you connect everything with everything it just turns out perfectly so what else can we do we can add in <coughs> what can we add guys let's say we want to add in some Lens distortion, yeah. So you can go like this and the whole screen will go kaboom. So what we can do is we do fit, which doesn't look that good, because he looks fat, come on. Oh my gosh, he's so fat. We can change it up, go down to one. Maybe even have a jitter. Yeah, jitter looks really good. Projector, we'll just project it. I've never really tested this one out. What's a dispersion? Oh yeah, dispersion is pretty good. Change it to like that. It looks pretty good, pretty good. Um, so now <coughs> it's really up to you guys. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick. I can hear about you can hear about that cough. So <coughs> after that, you really—that's all you really need to do. Like we can change this to a hundred, render it out. rendering real quickly and now as you see it will work awesomely so again you can get rid of the lens, lens distortion and we can put that in into the right one there you go make sure you put it in the right one um i personally like the color orange more when it's on like orange i don't really like lens distortion so spread out everything so you know where everything is um, I want to add this glare to this composite. Um, oh my gosh, this is really confusing. So when you're confused, what I like to do is everything, connect everything to... Yeah, okay, connect that and that and it'll work. Because this is along the lines of the same thing. Turn this down a little bit. Um, you can go to ghosts. You know, you can you can do whatever you want. Oh, that looks so awesome. Dudes. Dudes. Anyway guys, after you you know, got the basics. It's really simple, like for everything. Let me just render it out here as you see I'm not a fan of panic. And as you see it looks really cool and you can add and you can add so much cool effects to this guys it's just unbelievable um you can even like right now i could spread out the fingers thank you ubercow for making this special rig for me i needed a special one for my channel so that's why i'm not using creeper sweepers by the way creeper sweepers if you're watching this nice job on the rigs um i'm actually making
in the animation secret secret and I think it's gonna look really cool and I was waiting for your rig so I guess yeah it is so there you go my fingers are done maybe I can spread these looks really good maybe I can oh no <laughs> so I don't know how bumps bumps work even if they do work and you know you can add a bunch of stuff maybe we can even make the eyes bigger where is it? Oh, the shape key doesn't work because of the thing. So if I can click on the eyes, that would be wonderful. 